All right, what's up? So today, I wanna walk you through what's in my backpack. People keep asking me, what equipment do I use to film these videos? What equipment do I use to actually work on my online business? And I wanna walk you through all of the different hardware pieces that I use, especially the ones that go right in my backpack. And I'm super excited. Today, I went to B&H. We're dialing up. We were in and out of B&H in 12 minutes. We got something right here. I'm super excited to show it to you, but first, let's start with what I got. The first piece of equipment I have are the Sennheiser Momentums. What I love about these is you could hardwire them or they're also Bluetooth. The hardwire and Bluetooth is important for me, mainly because I don't always remember to charge them, and this doesn't need battery power to work. So this is the first piece of equipment, the Sennheiser Momentums. Then of course, the next thing I have is I have one of those new MacBook Pros with a touchpad. A touchpad that I never even use. A touchpad that I touch, touch accidentally. Touch bar. Oh, touch bar. See, I'm not very good at this, but I'm learning. The MacBook Pro with a touch bar, and I accidentally talk to Siri all the time. I kind of hate it, but I have it. And I have wireless mouse. Now since I also have this wireless Mac, that means that, as you might know, these Macs require dongles. You can't just plug a USB into that. So I've got one dongle, two dongles, eight dongles. I gotta be honest with you, I kind of feel like a complete mess having this many dongles. What? Now, what I also have in my backpack, as you know, since I'm vlogging now, I got a lot of camera equipment. My core camera is the Sony A7S II camera. It's the one that I'm filming on right now, so I'll show you some B-roll of what it looks like. I'm here just to pretend <laughs> like I'm working. That's the core camera that we use. Now, if you're not familiar with the Sony A7S II, this camera does not like batteries. So, we have six extra batteries for this camera. And what I mean by it doesn't like batteries, it just burns through a battery like every hour. So I always wanted a lot of batteries so I never run out of charged batteries. Um, now attached to the Sony a7S II, I have a lens. Mark, help me out. The 24 to 70 lens. I clearly don't know anything about this camera stuff. Mark knows everything. But it's a, it's a 20, great camera. It makes great video. I don't really know how that happens. Attached to that camera, we've got the Shogun Inferno screen. This is also going in my, in my travel backpack because we gotta bring the equipment every time we go places. And we also have this new thing I wanna show you in a second. Additionally, we use the Rode VideoMic Pro. That records the shotgun sound that we attach to the top of the camera. And this sound gets channeled into something known as the Mix Pre 3. The Mix Pre 3 is a remarkable device that allows you to record audio right into the device and it saves it right there. It's, it's, if you wanna run a podcast or do some video, it's a great tool to have in your arsenal. This I actually know how to use because I had to figure that out. Now, keeping that in mind, we also, as part of this whole video initiative, we're, we're taking up a lot of space. We got a lot of video of me. So we're always walking around with these rugged hard drives. And I think there's like eight of them here right now in this, in this room. These rugged hard drives are good because you can drop them. Well, I guess you're not really supposed to drop them, but you're, su you're supposed to be able to drop them. This, the other thing that I want to bring with me everywhere I go now, it's the like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I also plan to bring it to restaurants. If I ever need a waiter's attention, I could just ring the bell. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to be one of those YouTubers. Now, let's talk about this new piece of equipment that I got. So as you can see, we have a lot of different stuff. We have the camera, the lenses, the, we got the Shogun Inferno, the Rode, and I needed a place to put all this stuff. And my backpack that I was using, while I loved it, it wasn't really big enough or geared to carry around all this extra equipment. The backpack that I used was mainly focused on just being able to have my laptop and a notebook. So let me show you that backpack. Now the backpack you use doesn't necessarily matter if it's just for a laptop. This was the backpack that I used. It was a leather backpack. It fit my notebook, my small laptop, and my mouse. It was fantastic. 
But since we have all this new stuff I have to carry around, I needed to get a new backpack, and that's what I have here. This backpack looks like a suitcase, huh? I did not realize I was getting a heavy suitcase. I guess I should have realized. <laughs> is, it, is this funny to you? <laughs> Look, it's by Pelican. This is the stuff that videographers use. You could put guns in this stuff, right? They got rifle cases too, but we don't got that. We have a crush proof backpack, which I thought was gonna be like a soft, stylish backpack, like the one that I'm used to, but apparently it's a suitcase. It's, it's hot. It's crush proof. Bro, what the hell am I gonna do with this? All right, let, let's continue the unboxing. This is the Pelican Fits Ultrabook up to 15. This is Pelican Pro Gear, because I'm a pro. S115 Sport Elite. But I don't see how you could do any sports with a hard piece of plastic on your back. So here's how the backpack is. I haven't actually, I actually haven't opened it before. Am I the worst product reviewer on earth? <laughs> we have a couple different lenses that we're gonna be traveling with. And it's got your typical camera space for lenses, as you can see. So we got spot for different three pockets. This is probably gonna be good to store all those extra dongles that I have to have, like all 400 of them. Go right here. This could fit about half of the dongles that I own. So that's where the camera stuff goes in the crush proof case. There's, si there's a side pocket where I could probably put my mouse or my wireless internet card. Built in case. Oh, that's just a secret, bro. Look at this. So look, this goes like this. You don't even know that this just opens into a secret compartment and it doesn't open all the way. Ah, so this has a spot. You basically put all the wires and stuff in there. Then you get your computer. Boom. The secret spot. Actually, I really love that that computer is like that because I don't know about you. I hate opening up my backpack and having to dig out my computer. But right now, you just pop that open. Boom, it like sticks it out like a Pez dispenser. Let's see what it looks like. We're, we're going to fill it up. Let's like, you know, let's see how stylish I look. This is nice, it has this extra padding, you know, cause you're carrying around everything. You might as well not hurt yourself. What do you think? Do I look like I'm a video person now? Do you think I look like a nerd? Are people gonna push me in the airport? Yeah. Spin me around? Do you have wheels too? No, that's how you know you're a nerd, when you're walking around with the wheels. Is there wheels on this? No, there's no wheels on it. This is a nice backpack. This might be what, my 10th, 11th, 12th video? They always say you gotta dress for the job you want. That's why I'm getting all pro equipment, so I can be pro at video. So I just showed you pretty much everything I had in my backpack. I left two things out though. The two things that you didn't see today are one of my famous Japanese notebooks. I always use the same notebooks from this company called Maromen, and, or, or, and they create these notebooks called Nemosin. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right. Um, but they make really great notebooks. The paper's so soft, you can rub it on your face. It's like a pillowcase, it's amazing. Not that you wanna do that. And the second thing I always travel around with is usually a Kindle to read on the plane. Uh, sometimes I'm walking around with a hard-covered book, but I don't really like to add the extra weight to my backpack when I'm traveling, and I assume that this backpack already weighs like, like five solid pounds, so any extra weight here is really gonna be too much for me because I don't go to the gym that often. So if you like this video, I kind of showed you what I carry around in my backpack every day. I'm actually going on a video shoot to uh, film some Truvani stuff in, in a couple of days. So that's why I had to go buy this backpack so I could put all my camera gear and go on this shoot with my videographer. But if you like this video, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notifications bell. Don't make me, you know I'm gonna do it again. Hit that notification bell. Did you do it? My patience is running out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.